welcome back to that dead guy it's september 20th 2022 and it's raining outside so we're finally getting some moisture uh, hitting the ground the temperatures are a little cooler it's only like 15 degrees out there um we need the rain though it's been a long time since we've had any amount of rain unfortunately we're getting rain pretty much the rest of the week so it's going to be a soggy week for uh, delivering the mail but that happens i guess there's a tropical storm or a hurricane or something that's coming up the eastern seaboard now and uh, so we're going to get some rain as a result of it but it's better than the winds and things that uh, you could be getting that go along with it so i'm happy with that today i want to show you what kyler from prince Edward island sent he's been a regular uh, sender of postage stamps to me which has been great i really appreciate uh, him sharing the passion and uh, allowing me to share it out to you guys if you're into stamps this is the video for you. Um, he has mainly just been sending Japanese stamps, so it's been great. I'm learning a lot about Japanese stamps. But one thing he did was he sent me an envelope covered in older Canadian stamps, and they were never cancelled. So I thought I'd give you a chance to have a look at some of these older eight cent stamps that he just went to town on and covered the envelope. Barely left enough room for my address under here. So thank you, Kyler, for that. Now, inside, he sent me a postcard, which is great. Steampunk motorcycle. And on top of that, he sent me this picture of a Mountie, an indigenous person in a canoe uh, with a salmon jumping out of the water or a fish of some sort jumping out of the water. I guess it doesn't have to be a salmon. Um, and then a giant explanation of Japanese stamps which is great to have some of the history behind it. I've been showing you the stamps and letting you see, uh, not really having a knowledge about Japanese stamps other than what I like and what I don't like. And uh, most of the times it's just what I like. And Kyler does a great job at sending different types of stamps. So it's not all the same thing. And uh, that's great, I appreciate it. But this time he went to the effort of including a letter in here, explaining a bit about Japanese stamps and what they did. So let me just, I'm going to go through quickly and paraphrase it. Um, but uh, Japan, what they did was they have 47 prefectures, which are kind of political subdivisions in the country, and 13 po um, postal regions. So this was between uh, 89 and 2007. What they did was they were issuing stamps for those postal regions. Um, they were valid postal stamps across the country so you could use them anywhere for, for postage but if you wanted to get these stamps you almost had to go to those um, different provinces prefectures we call them provinces or but uh, there are prefectures there are 13 different postal regions you could buy these specific stamps and if you look at a stamp let me give you an example here he sent some examples too so here are two stamps if you look at the bottom bit I'm gonna pull this out here give me one minute get some tongs in here so if you look at the bottom of the stamp the Japanese lettering they'll be different based on what region they're from as I have no working knowledge of Japanese I cannot tell you the difference but that's what Kyler had told me in here. And he sent some different examples. I'll put those back in there. You're getting a bit of a glare, but you can, if you can compare the two, you can see that there's a difference. So it means they're different regions. And they're called, uh, <laughs> find my spot here. They put out uh, different subjects, including uh, special animals, flowers, events, buildings, festivals, natural wonders from each of the different prefectures. And then, I said sometimes they were available just outside one or two different post offices, like bigger post offices might have some from neighboring uh, prefectures as well. And it's called the uh, Nippon, Nippon Yubin. I guess the, the translations of the characters that are on the bottom that kind of tell you what region they come from. Another example of two here. It's very hard to see the caricatures at the bottom unless you zoom right in. But if you're looking in the Scott catalog, 
They are all listed there. There's 911 different stamps, and Kyler says he's got 826 of them, so he's almost there at a complete set for uh, all the stamps that came out between 89 and 2007. He said in the Scott catalog, they're issued under the Z numbers for uh, the different series that came out that, during that year as a special postages. So yeah, so that's basically the quick summary of what he gave me in a letter of the history of the, the Japanese stamps showing that uh, between those that time frame 89 2007 you're going to have special stamps that were issued just based on the uh, prefectures so i hope you find that interesting now let me show you all the other stamps that he sent uh, like i normally do i'll go go through slowly and pan through them so you can see them and hopefully enjoy them along the way and maybe find one that you find is your favorite i do apologize for the glare that you may be getting off the uh ceiling light in this particular instance uh, i guess i can stand up maybe i will block it a little bit but it's not too bad i don't think i don't know if in here you can see the difference between the stamps or tell which ones are the national stamps versus which ones are the prefecture stamps if you're looking at the uh, characters there the four the four they all seem to be very common, so I'm assuming these ones are all uh, just the national stamps. And perhaps the examples he gave were the only ones that uh, are in here that are prefecture stamps. Like that one was the butterfly. And this one's a very big one here. You can tell the difference. That one I really like too, just the way that image is. Some floral, some horse racing. So I'll get the glare off here for you. Little tiny ones. Sometimes it's probably a kawaii, which is a term I'm learning. Cute. And the Hello Kitties. The bullet train. I'm gonna go back to these ones again so you can see them maybe a little bit clearer than when I was trying to lift them up at you. Then you can see the distinctive caricatures at the bottom of the lettering that one's cool with the dragon for the new year's festival and then this one how cool is that the uh, pansies then we get into different shapes More Hello Kitty. These ones are really cool. The shape there, the heart. Go back here. You can see another large lot of stamps that Tyler sent. Ooh. You can see my foot down there. Yay! So, best camera angles around. <laughs> So what do you think? Another great showing of stamps from Japan from Kyler. So thank you so much, Kyler, for, uh, yeah, blessing us with uh, more things to show off. So I appreciate that. What I'm going to have to do is get a Scott's catalog soon. I know you can download them. My father used to get them at the library and then bring them home and put all this stuff together. Um, I might have to start doing that soon in order to categorize all these Japanese stamps to the my collection of Japanese stamps is growing thanks to you, so thank you so much. Um, I'm going to have to find something uh, to send back to you that you're going to enjoy as well. So, All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this showing of stamps. And I know those of you that uh, really love the history behind it, 
uh, maybe appreciated some of the information that Kyler sent at the beginning. Maybe you already knew that. Maybe it was just new information for me. And if that's the case, uh, I was happy to learn something new this week as well. All right. I don't know what's coming tomorrow other than more rain, but uh, there might be another video. We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to keep things going. Every day since I've been back from uh, my vacation to Montreal, I've been able to put out a video. So that is going on uh, three weeks of straight videos. Um, yeah, almost three weeks. So when we got back, just looking at the calendar here. Yeah, I think almost every day, probably every day in September, a video has come out now, 20 days in a row. That's pretty good. I don't know if that cycle is going to break soon. But uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. I know there's going to be a video on Friday for sure. So we'll just have to see what comes out for Wednesday and Thursday and what time allows for me. So you guys better tune in and, uh, and keep subscribing for all those new people that are watching for the first time. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do some things uh, with TikTok to bring people in. Um, I don't know if it's working or not, but I'm having fun making a few of these little short silly videos. Like the short ones I did here on uh, YouTube as well. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to continue with, with TikTok or not, but uh, I'm going to give it a go for a bit. I'm having fun with it, and I don't know if you guys are watching any of this stuff, but uh, I am having fun putting out some silly videos when I have time. I probably won't get to one today, um, but who knows? That being said, I might find 15 seconds somewhere along the line to, to make something. All right, you guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?